हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर पवन जगन्नाथ तांबड़े वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन केमिस्ट्री एट मराठा विद्या प्रसारक समाज नाशिक आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस थर्ड वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन एसिड्स एंड बेसिस ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन लास्ट टू लेक्चर्स वी हैव सीन लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एसिड एंड बेस एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो एक्सप्लोर सर्टन डेफिनेशन इन विच एसिड्स एंड बेसिस आर डिफाइंड नाउ इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल सी द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पी के ए एंड पी के बी अलॉन्ग विथ कंसेप्ट ऑफ कॉन्जुगेट एसिड्स एंड बेसिस सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ द थर्ड वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन एसिड्स एंड बेसिस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पी के ए एंड पी के बी consider this reaction in which ha is acting as a acid when this ha is added in water it dissociates to give h positive ion and a minus so there is a formation of h3o positive and a minus the equilibrium constant for this reaction or dissociation constant for this reaction is given by equation ka is equal to concentration of all the products divided by concentration of all the reactants so ka is equal to concentration of h3o positive into concentration of a negative divided by concentration of h a molecule in this case water molecule is omitted from equation because at the end of reaction there is no appreciable change in concentration of water as water is present as a solvent in larger quantity in the same way if you look at this reaction where b that is base reacts with water it dissociates or it accepts proton from water and there is a formation of bh positive and oh negative ion the dissociation constant or equilibrium constant for this reaction is given by kb is equal to concentration of all the products divided by concentration of all the reactants so kb is equal to concentration of bh positive into concentration of oh negative divided by concentration of b in this case also concentration of water is omitted as it is present in large amount now in this case ka and kb are acid dissociation constant and base dissociation constants respectively in these two reactions you know when we go through values of ka and kb for acids and base then we came to know that these values are quite difficult to remember and for the sake of chemist these ka and kb values are converted into another values which are pka and pkb values the relation between ka and pka is like pka is negative logarithm of ka in the similar way pkb is negative logarithm of kb one thing should be kept in mind that ka and pka are inversely proportional in the same way kb and pkb are inversely proportional that is if value of ka is more then value of pka is less and if value of ka is less then value of pka is more same is true for pkb and kb values so for an acid larger ka implies more dissociation of ha and so the acid will be stronger acid as ka value is larger acid is stronger obviously pka value of that acid will be lower so from this we can say that if ka value that is dissociation constant value of acid is more then that acid will be stronger acid to the contrary if pka value of a uh, acid is less then that acid will be stronger acid and vice versa same thing is applicable for kb and pkb for bases let's have a look at some example to understand this concept of pka and pkb now on this slide you can see some acids and bases hi hbr and hcl are acidic in nature if you look at ka value of hi hbr and hcl you can notice that ka value of hi is largest among these three so hi is most acidic among these three and hcl is having lowest ka value so hcl must be lowest acidic in these three acids in the same way if you look at these bases 
NH3, NaOH and Cl minus then KB value for this basis is like this. So from this KB value also we can comment on which is stronger base and which is weaker base. But overall if we look at this Ka and KB value of acids and base then we realize that this Ka and KB values of acids and bases are difficult to remember. So in order to make them convenient to remember or correlate this Ka and KB values for acids and bases respectively are converted into PKA and PKB values. So let's have a look at PKA and PKB values for these acids and bases. So PKA value of these three acids are minus 9.5, minus 9 and minus 6. And we know the relationship between PKA and acidity. If PKA value is less then acidity is more and vice versa. So among HI, HBr and HCl PKA value of HI is lowest that is minus 9.5 so HI is strongest acid. In the same way if you look at PKB values of these bases then from PKB values of bases we can comment on basicity of these three bases. Among these three bases NaOH is a strongest base because PKB value of NaOH is lowest and Cl- is weakest base as its PKB value is highest. So this is what is the relationship between acidity PKA, KA and basicity KB and PKB. Not only this, one can use PKA value for bases and PKB value for acids. It depends upon the concept of conjugate acids and bases. So that we will see in detail in next lecture. Now if you look at this figure you can see that Ka and acid relation, PKA and acid relation, KB and acid relation and so on. If you look at this figure carefully you can see that there are some letters in white color and some are in black color. For example, Ka and acid is in white color. It shows that they are having direct relationship. If Ka value for an acid is more, then its acidity is more. In the same way, PKB and acid. If PKB value of acid is more, then its acidity will be more because they are directly proportional. In the same way, we can see PKA of base and KB of base. They are also directly proportional to each other. In the same way you can see some black colored words which shows inverse relationship with acidity or basicity. For example PKA and acid they are having inverse relationship with each other. If PKA value of acid is more then its acidity is less and vice versa. Same is true for KB and acidity Ka and basicity PKB and base. It is my request to all the students to carefully go through this image and understand the relationship between acid, base and these different parameters. This is highly important to organic chemist. Next concept is conjugate acids and bases. Now consider this reaction in which HA reacts with B and there is a formation of BH positive and A negative. So if you analyze this reaction you will come to know that during the course of reaction HA has donated proton and B has accepted proton. So in this case HA is proton donor which is acid and B is proton acceptor which is base. However if you look at reverse reaction where BH positive reacts with A minus and it produces HA and B in that case BH positive is acting as a H positive ion donor and A negative is acting as a H positive ion acceptor that is BH positive is acting as an acid and A negative is acting as a base. So in reverse reaction we can also see acids and bases. So this is nothing but a conjugate acid base pair. In forward reaction HA is acting as a base and is in reverse reaction 
A negative which is counterpart of HA is acting as a base. So these HA and A minus they are conjugate acids and base of each other. In the same way in forward reaction B is acting as a base and in backward reaction BH positive is acting as a acid. So these B and BH positive are nothing but conjugate base and acids of each other. Let's have another example to elaborate this concept of conjugate acids and bases. Now if you look at this reaction, in this reaction acetic acid that is CH3COOH is allowed to dissociate it in water and it produces H positive ion. That H positive ion is gained by water to form H3O positive and there is a formation of CH3COO minus. So if you look at this reaction again in forward reaction acetic acid is acting as a acid and water is acting as a base. However, in backward reaction H3O positive is acting as an acid because it shows tendency to donate proton and CH3COO minus that is acetate anion shows strong tendency to accept H positive thus it is acting as a base. So these acetic acid and its uh, anion they are conjugate acid base and water and H3O positive they are also conjugate base and acid. This is called as conjugate acid base pair. So what is conjugate acid? The new acid form when base gains proton or accept proton is called as conjugate acid. It is always found on product side. And what is conjugate base? Conjugate base is the new entity form when acid lose the proton and it is always found on the product side. So we need to note here the conjugate base of weak acid is a strong base and the conjugate base of strong acid is always a weak base. This relation we need to remember to correlate between acidity and basicity in future. Now these are some typical Bronsted acids and their conjugate bases. So if you look at this table then H3O positive is acting as acid its conjugate base is H2O that is after donation of proton H3O positive is converted into H2O. So this is conjugate base of H3O positive. Likewise you can correlate between acid and their conjugate bases. Say for example in case of NH4 positive. NH4 positive is act as an acid and when it donates proton it converted into NH3. So NH3 is a conjugate base of NH4 positive. So here again we need to note a compound can be both a Bronsted acid as well as base. Some example where a molecule acting as both that is acid and base depending upon nature those compounds are water molecule OH negative ion, HSO4 negative ion and ammonia molecule. Depending upon condition they behave either as acid or as base. Among these water is the perfect example of this behavior because it simultaneously act as an acid and a base when it forms H3O positive and OH negative ions during the course of reaction. Now in this video lecture we have seen the concept of pKa, pKb then conjugate acid and conjugate bases. Here we need to remember certain things. The things which are of foremost important in this video lecture is relationship between acid Ka, pKa, base Kb and pKb. We need to remember that for acid Ka for stronger acid Ka values are more. For stronger acid pKa values are less and vice versa. For bases, for stronger base if Kb value is more then base is strong and if Kb value is more then obviously pKb value is less. So there is a relationship between acidity Ka and pKa. There is a relationship between basicity Kb and 
PKB. So in this video lecture, all these things are need to be remembered. I guess that all of you understand the concept of acids and bases, PKA and PKB and the concept of conjugate acids and bases. Thank you for watching my channel. Thanks a lot.